Hello, I'm Kenny Ferguson. And I'm Ben Vitson. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Red and Gold, Gold Show. Show. This weekend is the Lord's Festival. The rock band will be playing on Saturday night from 7.30 to 11. We have a winner for Sestina's Best Ride Poll. And here are the results. By winning the poll, Tomek will have another feature video of his car in an upcoming show. Today's lunch is Turkey Manhattan and Country Fried Steak with Mashed Potatoes. And here's Tandy Man with today's weather. First day of fall. It's partly cloudy with the current temperature of 77 degrees. The high today is going to be in the mid-80s and the low today is going to be in the mid-60s. There's a good chance it's going to rain today, so if you have a car, you might want to go roll your windows up. But for tomorrow's weather, it's going to be a breezy, hot day with a high of 92 degrees. Back to you guys. Also, a very happy birthday to Lydia Cummins. Reporters Austin Wilson and Chris Jackson caught up with the volleyball team. Volleyball has been one of the most successful sports here at Cecina, and senior Neely Marks feels the pressure to keep their winning ways. Um, I've thought about it a few times, but we actually are good this year, despite what our record shows. We actually are as good as we're supposed to be. Team chemistry is one of the most important aspects of volleyball. It's actually really good. It's like the best I've had all four of my years. We hang out outside of volleyball and we're all friends. Despite the struggles this year, the girls still manage to find ways to have fun and keep a positive attitude. We're all pretty positive. We feel like we can do better because of our ability, but we're all still keeping it strong and keeping our heads up. The team's next game is tomorrow against Greenfield Central. Boys tennis lost to Ritter last night, 3-2. Freshman football won last night as well. So that's the news. I'm Kenny Case. And I'm Vidi Sent. Keep it fresh.